Welcome everybody to the Onward VR Master League. My name is Nightfire with two E's and I'm joined by my co-caster Xandria with an X. How are you today, Xandria? I'm doing great. How about yourself? I am excellent and I'm looking forward to our week three season nine matchup with Rome and SEAL Team Bravo. We are talking a bit before the round and or before the before the series and we're kind of talking about how Rome has gotten a lot of coverage uh, this season. Uh, and, you know, it's just by happenstance, really, the opponents they've been playing against have been so interesting. And again, here at with SEAL Team Bravo, I'm very interested to see how Rome goes up against this brand new team. I, what are your initial thoughts on this matchup, Xandria? Uh, I think it's going to be a nail biter. Yeah. I mean, I'm just looking at the history here with Rome, and they put up six points against Blaze. And I, I just, I don't know, man. I, I just think it's going to be, you know, blow for blow the whole way. Yeah, you know, you look at the win-loss ratios of both squads, and despite you know Rome losing some ra some rounds in this uh, early on in the season, uh, some series, excuse me, they've been doing well to win a couple of rounds in those matchups. They're not they're not making it easy for those opponents to get those wins, and so I do anticipate them to come out strong here, despite on being on a bit of a losing streak. But in the meanwhile, and the, you know, on that same note, SEAL Team Bravo is on a win streak. They're a brand new team formed up in Season 9 with a bunch of players that are veterans and some that are brand new. Yeah, and, and you know, SEAL Team Bravo, they 12-0'd Fury. Um, Fury is not a new team at all. Yeah. So I think, I think it's going to be a real tough match. Yeah, they had a good match against Water uh, recently, also a new squad uh, this season. And uh, I, yeah, I'm curious to, to see how they square away against Rum. Taking a look at the active rosters for today on SEAL Team Bravo, we have 4Q, Stay Calm, brand new to the league this season, Raz, Seth Bowden Gaming, and Cool Breeze. Some names there you may recognize, uh, some real veteran names there in, on this squad. So definitely a team that is not new to the league, but... Might be bringing some fresh, uh, fresh new perspectives, new, new strategies, right? Yeah, absolutely. And then over on uh, Rome, we have uh, Driver of Car, Gladiator with an R, William Dunce, Lucky AF, and Big Mike. That's a, uh, a, a, you know, they've been around for a while. These guys have had a, a pretty consistent roster for some time now uh, over the course of a couple of seasons. They've been around since season six, so... Not necessarily yeah, I think a, the league. I think having a consistent team roster goes a really long way because yeah. you just get to know each other. You know, you almost work as one cohesive unit instead of five individuals. Yep. And, you know, I think we got to get into the pick bands. So it looks like this round should be starting pretty shortly. Coming in uh, from the ban on our home team, Rome side, they ban Bazaar. And over from SEAL Team Bravo, they ban Snoke. Thoughts on those bands? Uh, yeah, I was kind of looking at the numbers there a little bit. It looks like Rome banning Bazaar. It's sort of a middle ground map for them um, and a strength for uh, SEAL Team Bravo. And SEAL, you know, with SEAL Team Bravo banning Snow Peak, neither of those teams have played that in the last two seasons. So no, no surprise there. I just think there's some discomfort on that map. and. Oh, absolutely. I think we're about to hop into our first round on our first map of the day. Map number one is going to be Subway. This should be fun to kick off, fun way to kick off the action tonight. Let's get into it. Round number one is underway. We're going to have a downstairs objective. Arguably, I would say this objective, one of the tougher to uh, defend effectively. So many new entry points uh, to be utilized. You'll see a lot of people push into the center catwalk as William Dunst, driver of car, and Big Mike will be doing. And that forces an investment in defense, which you see coming in from Cool Breeze here. Yeah, I'm seeing kind of an interesting tactic here. It looks like Gladiator sent a drone down the north tunnel while everybody else is taking the upper catwalk. Yeah, I think we did see that from Rome when they played this map last time. It's a strategy they like to utilize, try and draw attention, get some more info on defensive positionings. And now Cool Breeze is in a bit of trouble. He's got some fire on himself, tosses a flash, and drops back from his defensive angle. And here's the drone, actually, to get that information. Cool Breeze does take it down. 
Yeah, they were being a little bit loud coming down that upper catwalk. Um, you know, with, with the diversion technique, if they'd have been quiet, they could have been very devastating. But we just have to be careful of these frags and utilities that, uh, you know, their utility nades that get thrown down this hallway. Interesting bounces you can make. And it looks like actually just a little bit of defense here has forced a bit of a rotation. I think they're actually just dropping back to get behind uh, the shield here. They want to relocate the shield, and now they're going to get Will, uh, driver of car, excuse me, and Big Mike over the shoulders of Will. Looks like we got a little bit of, you know, a little bit of question on what everybody's supposed to do there. Wow, Will had an idea that there might be C4, tries to take it out, gets detonated on, and there comes Cool Breeze around for the, uh, the confirm, and he can't get it. A nice job of Big Mike to deny that from, from coming in, and Will gets picked up, shield back in hand, and now Cool Breeze has to drop off from this location, but the C4 almost a real big buzz kill of this roam push. Yeah, I didn't see exactly where that C4 was located on that one, but... I think it was on the back of that exit sign. Okay. Driver does find Cool Breeze trying to rotate around to the other side of the stairs. Good coverage from this Rome squad as they enter in. Evens the odds 4-4. Four, four. Where did that other kill happen? It looked like... Could that have been on the north push where yeah. Gladiator was coming down? Gladiator may be able to get a surprise pick if he peeks up here. Might be able to catch Raz getting a little over-aggressive or potentially Seth if he rotates out from his position. But everyone's pretty tucked in, and as long as... The SEAL Team Bravo defense stays tucked in. It's going to be tough for Rome to push out into the central area of Subway. They really need some smokes or something to deny vision. Yeah, SEAL Team definitely has this really well like quadrant quadranted off. I'm sure Raz heard Gladiator running around underneath him there, so I'd assume that these has an idea at least one's down there. Or Q rotating around here may end up exposing a little bit of himself. The gladiator he picks up, but he actually gets the pick. Nice job from 4Q. Now all to the three in the stairwell. Yeah, that was definitely one of the situations where both uh, team members knew where the opponent was. Unfortunately, Q, 4Q just sort of got the win on that one. Yeah. Mike's managed to come down these stairs uncontested. Team decides to join him, but Raz is positioned here. Be a pretty big threat to this push if they're not ready for him at the front of this train. Yeah, this, this look is a really strong defense that yeah. SEAL Team set up here. I mean, they have to cross over two different lines of fire, and then we have Seth way in the back there who has not even been in play yet. They come, too, holding a pretty deep angle as well. Very unlikely that they'll be ready for that. As does find Big Mike pushing out. Despite it being silenced, it should be information for Rome to act off of. Will and Driver getting a little more aggressive, and they are running out of time, only a minute 15 on the clock. Teamwork there. Driver of car finds the exposed back of Raz. And now we'll see if this SEAL Team Bravo finds the need to reposition or if they're just going to hold themselves. You do actually see the rotation. It does get spotted out by Driver of car. Stay comms under fire. Shield on the north uh, truck. William is on objective pad out. Yeah, he is. They may not expect him to be punching and in the code right now. Roll might come up with a two point no, lead. They do not. Just like I was locked in on the gun battle, so was the entirety of SEAL Team Bravo. And thanks to our co-caster here, we did manage to spot out that, that that sneaky cap. He just went under the suppressive fire. Yeah, he did. That, that was a great, great round win and a, and a great way to start the series from Rome.
A uh, certainly a testing moment for this SEAL Team Bravo squad. They are, as we've said, essentially undefeated this season. They haven't really faced uh, too much turmoil as they've come up uh, in the last three wins pretty strongly, although Water did give them a pretty good scoreline, a uh, pretty good run for their money. And now Rome comes in here with a very early 2-0 cap on their map of choice, of course, so might not feel at, might not sting as bad, you know, with that knowledge, but now SEAL Team Bravo has to react. They have some veterans on their squad, and I'm interested to see how they're going to go, uh, what they're going to do on this offensive round. Yeah, same here. I never like to use the first round as a predictor of outcome. Yeah. But, you know, because teams can adjust and come back. Yep. But it definitely throws your opponent off when you when you throw out a cap first round. Yeah, we had it happen yesterday, uh, on Thursday as well. Uh, you know, it, it, def it has an effect on the overall morale of that round. It's hard to bounce back from. Uh, especially if you don't get a good round here. Still, Team Bravo really just needs to find some kills. And even if they don't win the round, as long as they get a couple of kills, they have an opportunity to, s to try and start to swing that momentum. But if they just kind of come out here and Rome ends up steamlining the defense, it could be bad news. We'll see what happens as we hop into round two. It looks like SEAL Team Bravo is sending two downstairs and three upstairs. Kind of a nice upper-lower split. Bill is getting a little aggressive on defense. He may run into this downstairs push. Or they may just avoid him entirely. Wolverine is actually waiting for Will to push out here while Seth gets kind of a free pass and is pushing in here he'll be able to ideally get out underground in this train tunnel and have those stairs to peek up and be a pretty effective distraction I'm interested to see how Cool Breeze comes up from this lower tunnel. He's, he's just snaking his way right into William Dunst's line of fire. He needs to be pretty wary of someone being at the stairwell, so it'll be interesting to see how he decides to peek it. And a trade. <laughs> uh, two kills. No information getting relayed here. C4 gets detonated as soon as that death comes in, and now some trading on the bottom floor as Seth grabs a big mic on a bit of a rotation. I see everybody using night vision here as well, despite this being an underground objective. Yeah, this is one of those kind of maps where you kind of do kind of don't need night vision, depending on what area you plan on being in. A bit of a grouping occurring here over in the north. 4Q You're giving Raz a little bit of a scare. <laughs> Thought he was going to join Staycom, turn this into a trio as they push out here, but he'll go uh, to that middle catwalk. Yeah, I'm kind of always a big proponent of splitting up your forces. I never like seeing anybody you know, stack up your entire team in one location, especially on a map like this that's so open to C4s. Yeah, and you know, syncing up, coordinating with the rest of your team, they need Seth to really draw a bit of a distraction to allow Raz and Daycom and now Fork you to push out from this north turntable. Now they're really position sort of given up given away if it wasn't already. I don't think that Rome had an idea that there was anyone over here quite yet. Yeah, it kind of detonated pretty far away from anybody who might have been near it. Rotates down from the 
repairs, he may find a little angle, but Raz is also very aware of that. He seems pretty tucked in on the soda machine. And with Lucky being clear downstairs, they, they could get a cap on this one. Yeah, SEAL Team's looking real good. Down to one defender for Rome, and he is starting to realize that yeah, that downstairs defense may put that uh, objective be a little bit too exposed in a tough spot. With, with, yeah, with Gladiator only getting down to not confirm, surely he's reeling everything in to his teammate. Yeah, that's a pretty good spot to get comms in. You can see Lucky rotating off of this. I wonder if he's going to hear the footsteps from the rotation coming into the stairs behind him. this rotation honestly lucky's getting a pretty good line of sight on any pushing opportunities seth well aware of lucky's position picking up the stairs finds the kill seal team bravo with an excellent answer back to that early cap getting on the board in their marsock round 2-1 yeah i couldn't say that one better myself it's always good to see them come back with another with a, with a marsock win after you know getting capped on the first round had the score line wrong board there after that first round but now it is accurate two to one here we are into a nice matchup as we anticipate i think this was i, I you know I, I expected a good bit of back and forth we'll see if this continues to be a good bit of back and forth or if rome try and get a cap here and try and snag uh, this map early pretty tough to do on this underground objective yeah absolutely i was just gonna say Not but ass. With maybe just a smidge of luck and a lot of skill, you can pull that off. <laughs> yeah, I think the easier option here is to, def is to, is to look for the kills. Uh, objective certainly not as hard as it used to be uh, to cap, but just because there's one more entry point in the back, but that's it. It's still, or else you just cover your three entries, the, the two, two, two entries at the stairs and this back one. Uh, and that's all you gotta do. A lot of teams end up getting a little bit aggressive on their defense. They don't like to be cooped up uh, down here where, where, you know, nades can be really detrimental to your defensive setup. And so some people poke out a little early defensive setup and they, uh, you know, that's free picks if you're in the offense that can give you a nice early advantage to come in and have a bit of an overwhelming force underground. Right, I was just gonna say like with, with a good coordinated attack you can create enough confusion to, to get that opportunity for the cap. Yeah. Yep. Coming through all three points at the same time. Overwhelm. See if Rome can sync up. For round number three. On board Lucky like getting, uh, AF here, and you could hear the strategy from Rome. They wanna, they do want to coordinate their and, and sync up. They want to have about a minute, or they get into a position early and then try and harass, cause some rotations. Looks like Seth Bowden definitely just see forward the downstairs entrance, just as they walk out into the uh, and then onto the train tracks. There's a C4 right above. Pretty effective tool. He's actually, I think, looking underneath the uh, the door here for feet, and he'll detonate. Or he's listening for the sound. Uh, but either way, yeah, they have C4 there. I wonder if Raz. Yeah, it looks like Raz also tossed C4 uh, on one stair. Well, I wonder if they have a third. I don't think they can have a third set of C4. So they instead have invested two to defend there. Final entry point. And yeah, this is SEAL Team Bravo not bothering to really get over aggressive on their defense and push out. I guess they do have one upstairs, 4Q, sort of their main, their initial point of contact. One thing I don't really like about Seth's 
position here is once the first man comes out, you know, in, to wait for to get like more of a squad wipe, you, it'd be too risky to wait for three people to come out of there. You know, the first one can turn a corner and get you before you have a chance to detonate. Yeah, and he's not exactly safe from grenades. You know, a, a nice toss out that doorway uh, certainly could catch Seth if he doesn't tuck in tight enough around that corner. Like four key ran a little bit of action up top. Managed to deter one of the Chrome offense from getting any control in the upstairs. He actually hears the ones underground and he's worried about them pushing him on the south. He thinks they're upstairs. Bit of a trade downstairs. The C4 finds one and and just to confirm a second puts Rome into a bit of a tough spot. Down to three, and they're all upstairs. 4Q, realizing he's outnumbered, drops back. It's going to be pretty challenging to get any entry into the underground here against this defensive setup. Yeah, with only having three remaining, just thinking, you, you, yeah, that's definitely going to be tough. 4Q getting a little loud on this push. Big Mike spots the head, just misses the bullet. 4Q re-peaks and finds the kill. Doing an excellent job of holding the upstairs. Lucky AF looking for the opportunity to find the shots onto 4Q, but he won't. And the two remaining, it looks like they're going to try and come down the stairs as a unit. It's a 2v4. We have seen comebacks happen like this. And if 4Q gets over aggressive Gladiator, might be able to get it into a 2v3. I yeah, definitely like that big long rotation gladiators doing after firing on that last little bit there. Yeah, 4Q was the one he did fire on though. That's actually uh, the, like, the best case for SEAL Team Bravo because he's the one that's moving around the most. Gladiator getting aggressive down these stairs, tossing a nade, a smoke. Cool breeze with an easy shot finds him. And now, Lucky AF trying to make his entry all alone. It is going to be a really tough one for Lucky. I just, I unfortunately <laughs> don't see it happening. Yeah, they, you know, they invested pretty heavily in maintaining there. I mean, he's got a minute and a half left. It, if he kind of pops down, gets good shots, gets one, pops back up, maybe. <laughs> the utility's still there. But Raz never <laughs> detonated his C4 and. It actually is what catches out the final kill for SEAL Team Bravo. They even the odds, too, too. Yeah, it's definitely looking like just like I predicted. Back and forth, back and forth. Oh. Oh. Really good answer back here from SEAL Team Bravo. They uh, obviously not pleased about Rome getting that early cap. But, you know, we did see this happen uh, in Rome's first map. Uh, last week is or two weeks ago as well. They got the early cap and then they didn't manage to. Actually, I think no. That, excuse me, that was in Thursday's game. Uh, but yeah, we've we've seen this happen where teams get the early cap and then they aren't able to really extend that lead further. They allow the other team to get back into the game and you know those, those two points he snagged right away at the start are nullified quite a bit now. Uh, the momentum pretty even. Yeah, I mean, sometimes you can catch a team off guard first round, but if they have the ability to adjust at all and, and you can't switch it up after that, you know, they, they know what, what you're going to do, so. I wanted to wait down to the, to the wire either. I think they had about two minutes left when they went in for that push. Seal Team Bravo can keep 
battling back for round number four. They've got two unanswered points so far from Rome. Liam Dunst getting pretty aggressive on his defensive positioning here. He's going to look for a real early pick against SEAL Team Bravo and then probably drop back. Found it. Yeah, I've definitely seen this technique before, and it can be very effective if you're not expecting it. It can also cost you if the enemy is expecting a cool breeze, well aware of that defensive setup. Peaks gun up when he comes around that corner and gets the early shots. Nicely done for Rome excuse me, for SEAL Team Bravo to get themselves a real nice early lead. Now, now that downstairs defense is coming back to driver of car in a position underneath this little ramp, and I, I do believe we've seen this technique before. Yep. I think the problem was that the player was a little closer to the ramp and ended up not being able to shoot because they were clipped into it. <laughs> That's the worst. When you think you have a good spot and your gun doesn't fire... Big Mike spotting out the push on the north. Puts a couple rounds down there, and that deters SEAL Team Bravo pushing there. They relocate back to 4Q. Maybe they're going to discuss what they should do now. Yeah, it does look like they're doing a bit of a hard rotation. Interesting concern there from 4Q, worried that maybe the strategy they had just hashed out was uh, was actually heard, and that's something you always got to be aware of as your proximity comes. How easy it is to hear your voice and a little fall damage from 4Q. Drops down off the ledge, but nice uh, shift for Steel Team Bravo. This should pay off because I don't think anybody from Rome is defending these back st uh, two stairwells. I'm really liking Gladiator's position here in these, these uh, turnstiles. You should be able to hear everything that's happening downstairs in the hallway. Oh, yeah. You probably heard that nade pull from Seth, the nice from Cool Breeze. They did manage to get that C4 with that nade, though. So the, the clacker defense, it has been nullified. I think Gladiator was actually the one with that clacker above there. So he's uh, actually going to drop back now. Maybe try and rotate back to the stairs. Oh, he's going to go for a long rotation. He's going to try and get up behind him. A little over-aggressive, though, Raz, with the very timely peak. Minus another. Gets out of the stairwell. Gladiator on a rotation. It's going to come down to driver of car, defending against two. And Big Mike trying to hold off the stairwell push. Uh, yeah, I got a couple guys on the fence. That's a that's a really tough spot to def to attack against underneath that ramp because your you know your angle of attack there. Yeah, it's common though. People know yeah, about it. it. That's the problem. Seth, obviously well aware. Raz takes out driver of car. Rome are down to two. Lucky AF holding a pretty crucial point right now as the most majority of SEAL Team Bravo is pushing in from this corner. There that defense goes, and it's all down to Big Mike. SEAL Team Bravo trying to get three unanswered points on the board here. They're looking real good on this Marsoc round. Five still alive. But it's definitely not the position you want to be in. No, absolutely not. And Seth tried to get behind the sliver of cover he had, but it wasn't enough. SEAL Team Bravo coming out the gate pretty hot. They now advance their lead 3-2. Yeah, I'm definitely impressed with their performance thus far. You know, unfortunately I haven't seen any caps yet, but looks like every you know, every point after that first cap has right. been for the SEAL Team Bravo. 
Yeah, and you look at the KDs, they are pretty, uh, they're looking pretty good. Seth, six and one, Cool Breeze, three and two, Stay Calm, three and zero, or Q, two and one. All positive KDs on that squad right now. And, you know, that's exactly what I was talking about. Rome came in hot, got that early 2 0 lead. Then SEAL Team Bravo answered back with some good kills. Uh, they managed to get that first round, and since then, they've just really been steamrolling with momentum. Rome probably has to have Cap on the mine here if they want to try and get and prevent, yeah, just, the, especially with this objective, really. I was just going to say, with the North Stairwell objective, this is a very capable objective. how Rome attacks as we hop into round number five. I mean, surely uh, they're going to be expecting a, a hard push and a cap. Most defenses get pretty aggressive on this stairwell. I'm sure we're going to see some before placement or at least some early nades up and over the wall. Up oh, here's two, four. Oh, this is interesting though. The drone able to get here way before Rome's offense can, and it spots Cool Breeze tossing that C4 and then detonating it a little too early, being a little bit nervous about that drone placement there. Yeah, it was a really unfortunate C4 detonation. Surprised he didn't just shoot down the drone. Yeah, I mean, I. <laughs> it almost. He kind of looked at it. Just ran back down the stairs. Yeah, it seemed like he was maybe trying to kill the drone with the C4 he just threw there. I don't know. Slack down, slack it down. I kind of like the move from Seal Team Bravo, though. They tried to send one up to flank onto Rome, get really aggressive with this lead that they have, kind of shut down the spirits of Rome on this last round, and Badir was ready for it, shut it down. Goes back to flying his drone. Oh, you know what? You know, they sent that flanker because they assumed that there was going to be one on the drone at the back of spawn. Oh. And that they could get an easy kill. Yeah. Really smart plays from SEAL Team Bravo to work off of what you've been seeing uh, come from your enemy, uh, come from your opponent, but. I'm a little, su little surprised I'm seeing such a slow play out of Rome here. Kind of, I'm, I'm really interested to see how that pans out. Definitely going to be some nades to be thrown before they make their push down the stairs. Considering how Seal Team Bravo has set up their defense, it's definitely smart that they're playing slow. Yeah. Is that a C4 that... Yeah. That nade detonated the C4. Thank you for my C4. Can you see it from the angle? So, Rome should definitely know that there's no more C4 now. Yeah. It's there or it's gone? Here, Raz trying to identify if a C4 is no longer on that wall there. Huge. Even the odds a bit. Cool Breeze takes some pistol shots, but he's still alive. The low caliber not quite finishing him off. A flashbang tossed around doesn't get Will. A nade toss, though. Yep, does find Will. Raz able to confirm it. Things stay relatively even. Rome in a 3v2, though. They have the advantage. Stay calm. Realizing he has to push up, gets into a trade. He goes down as well, and it's all down to 4Q. He actually is able to res stay calm, though, so favorable trade for SEAL Team Bravo, and we are into a 2v2 right now. The aggression from 4Q, the blind fire. Yeah, Rome they know they have to get out and, and cover that corner because somebody could be right there capping. 
Yeah, and we saw it happen. Wow, just a round to go. The shield. A little bit too uh, tantalizing. A 1v1. Big Mike needs to clutch this or else SEAL Team Bravo take map number one. And A gets tossed around the corner. 4Q drops back. He's fine. Uh, Save. He's a bit too short. Toss, Big Mike now actually the smoke going against 4Q and Big Mike able to peek up over the top of the green smoke, keeps Rome in it and ties it up 3-3. Three, three. It's really great to see Rome get one more, one more point on the board, just back and forth, back and forth. You know, both squads are looking good here. Rome clearly has strategies they're trying to enact. They're aware of the weaknesses of those strategies, Gladiator aware of a potential of being flanked there as he does manage to catch out that early aggression but i mean it's just interesting to see both teams reacting right now and it's paying off we are into a really good back and forth seal team bravo finally getting uh the pause button pressed on their aggression and now they're on the offense on this objective it's not easy uh the cap opportunity is there sure but uh it's still a challenge to really push up here effectively a bit of a bit of yeah. a, it's kind of like a, a luck, a little bit of dice roll, really. A little bit. You know, I, I was just thinking like we we must have seen every possible grenade go off on the north stairs that last round. There's a lot, a lot of smokes, a couple of flashes, four or five nades, B4, two C4s. You, you need all that on this objective because that shield is so effective pushing in these tight 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 corridors yeah absolutely I think that was the longest between round timer we've had yet as we hop into round number of the final round of map one yes i was just gonna say because it's three to three they're really planning it out how seal team bravo is going to attack this objective almost a very good grenade <laughs> it just went up onto the roof instead of hitting the wall and bouncing into the alleyway i'm sure it would have caught out raz if it had but a near perfect toss from rome goes hi yeah i almost thought we were going to see a real aggressive push Going down on the tracks. i think we are still team bravo already inside and on the back of the defense, Big Mike goes down. Rome, not in a good position. This is not what you want when you're defending this objective, to have the pressure coming in from the inside of the train station as well. It makes things nearly impossible to defend against. And now nobody is here to deny Seth and Cool Breeze the aggression from this angle. Is Lucky aware? I think he is. Yeah. Because I've definitely seen that with two people there in the in the hallway of the stairway, and you just kind of pop in right like what he's doing right now, and get that cap. Actually, probably the best hole that these two could be putting together right now. Lucky can't really afford those peaks though. If he gets too aggressive around the soda machine, he's going to go up against too many. Bill Team Bravo. Yeah, he needs to just stay right there and watch that objective. It goes for the heel. Can't get it. Cool Breeze finds the pick, and now the objective is exposed. Driver of car has to move, has to rotate.
cool breeze. breeze. Pat out. Wow. He's punching in code. Wow, he gets it before Driver gets scooped up by Raz. Seal Team Bravo, take map one, five to three. What a way to answer that. You know, uh, this series is going to be a pretty fun one to watch. I'm, in, I'm really excited for our second and third maps uh, of this matchup. I'm curious now what Seal Team Bravo's map choice will be. Uh, Cause that's 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 tough as Rome to lose, you know your map pick. Yeah. So I, a good a good back and forth though Rome, you know putting on a good battle here they just they didn't press the advantage, you know keep applying that pressure after that 2-0 lead just hunker down get your nice defensive win push that up to 3-0. You know, if you start things off with a cap like that, you're in such an insanely good position. You know, the, the pressure is off your shoulders, and I do think maybe Rome relaxed a bit too much off that yeah. early cap. Because I, I know as a player, when you get capped on that first round, it, it's huh. so demoralizing. It's so hard to come back that if they just keep riding that that wave of uh, momentum, oh boy, you could be defeated so quickly. Like map number two is going to be downfall. I'm extend the range of things here a little bit. No subs coming in from either side. Stay calm, stay view into the league. Going pretty well. I didn't see what his final KD was, but I know he was positive since the entire SEAL Team Bravo team was positive. Yeah, it seemed like they had a, a pretty even spread, too. It didn't yeah. seem like any one player was really dominating. Like they're gonna get raided. Nope. Yep. Get raided right into it. <laughs> <laughs> Bit of a false start for you there, but yeah, we are gonna hop into round number one of map number two. Downfall here. If you are just tuning in, it's SEAL Team Bravo versus Rome. I guess the other way around. Rome is home. But uh, it's been a pretty good back and forth. Curious to see if SEAL Team Bravo are gonna try and answer in kind on this map and get a cap of their own to start it off. Looks like Rome is definitely in good spirits. Yeah. They're hooting and hollering right at the beginning. <laughs> will giving us a little spectacle, if you will. And that's actually information there for Bra uh, Seal uh, Rome. They now know where Seal Team Bravo has spawned, and they can work their defense accordingly. Yeah, I, I think knowing the spawn is, is so much of the battle on this map. You know, because the, the moment of approach from any one direction is so dependent on the, the spawn. Knowing that is, is paramount. Show me your torso. Show me your torso, girl. Will holding an angle there, waiting for that little bit of Marsock to peek up over the hill. Doesn't quite get it. As still Team Bravo does not decide to push their spawn and goes for a long rotation. Things get low for some, but are pretty constant movement for others. You have Cool Breeze here on the real long rotation, getting into the ravine. Everybody else sort of holding up their positions in the center of the map. Most likely going to wait for Stay Calm and Cool Breeze to get into position over here on the ravine before they start to verge down into the defensive positions of Rome. 
Yeah, at this stage, it's really just sort of watching and, and see if you can see a peek in a window and, and knowing where your defenders are. You know, set up that that plan of attack and, and then at the right moment, execute. Oh, Raz actually went for the long rotation. If you take a look at his perspective, he's way on this back hill here, and he doesn't even have a 12 times. He's using a hollow. Must have that, that index power. I would say definitely. <laughs> I mean, I, I definitely agree that sometimes it's a lot easier to just shoot with a hollow, but at that kind of distance, man, that, that's challenging. Yeah, it's pretty tough to see the pixels so far away. Man, if you... No, go ahead. Are you... Just taking a little bit of a gander at where everybody's at, and still Team Bravo's get, looks like they're getting ready to move. Cool Breeze has managed to get pretty far forward on the south side. Yeah, he is definitely about 10 steps away from the danger zone here. Yeah. It's just nobody is taking any shots. Nobody from Rome is peeking out too much. Gladiator is going to hear the footsteps from Stay Calm, and I wonder, yes, he is going to be able to find that kill. Cool Breeze should have an idea of where Gladiator is now, and he's trained right into that window looking for the refrag. You know, on defense on this map, I definitely think, like, just hanging back and not shooting is the way to go because then they don't know where you're at. Yeah, Cool Breeze not anticipating Gladiator to be, or sorry, uh, yeah, they're just not ready for Gladiator to be in that room. And Yeah, that, that building, is the uh, lower dumpster there, is a little bit of an extended spot for a defense on this objective. Yeah, it is. You have most of the defense getting invested in the building that Driver of Car and Lucky AF are actually positioned in right now, so... And Seth has made it all the way up to helicopter. I mean, he he can smell the objective at this point. Yeah, you know, it, they still have all their angles covered though. So as soon as Seth decides to try and get out over towards objective, or even peeks up out over this hilltop, he may be dead from the window. Shots do come in his way. He's trying to pick them off in through the window. Can't find anything himself. And there, finally, Big Mike I got able to peek yeah, out and get the kill. Four keys made it all the way up to Center Hotel. Center Hotel yeah, and Raz down. picked off the one in Center Hotel, so now that's his. Hotel's down. And his to control. It makes it a lot harder for them to defend. Raz finding another up on the hill. Here comes the kill from 4Q. He trades with Lucky AF and Romer down to one. And Raz all the way up on this hill here. Yeah, he's been really effective up there. Driver of... Well, we're just going to go for the cap. It looks like it. That was Raz, maybe giving away the Cool Breeze move here. He's so exposed, but he didn't even bother to tuck behind the wall. He, he got it. He got the cap. I just threw it out as a hypothetical, okay? That they could <laughs> do this, but they, but they did. They answer exactly Raz. how Rome kicked off the first map. Yeah. I mean,. Raz took one for the team and was that bullet sponge and the other teammate there got the objective. Wow. What a way to kick off map number two for the SEAL Team Bravo squad. They're looking to take this series in commanding fashion. Now they have the opportunity to just hold tight. Stay close yep. on the objective. Don't don't get overzealous. Don't don't peek out. Grab yourself around here and go up three to zero. Are, are we going to see a reverse of Sunday? I know, yeah. <laughs> Room take it five to three. We'll see. 
It's certainly harder to win Marsock. I mean, I don't know. I guess I, I guess we've seen plenty of Marsock rounds uh, get taken on downfall, but. I wonder what the numbers are on Marsock rounds versus Wolf Wind. Marsock win, Wolf wins. I'm curious on all the maps if that's, if that's even or if it differentiates across maps. I'm sure it does. I'm sure, yeah. Database stat, though. <laughs> we need that from. Get on that, Dakin. Yeah, right. A little bit of back and forth here today so far. Still Team Bravo kicking it off for map, map number two with a cap, and they now go on the defense for round number two. Oh, twos. the shots early that does give away their spawn kind of exposing gladiator and big mike they want to move out from this hilltop because now Bill team bravo should know that rome spawned over back here in the south uh, in the yeah in the south it'll definitely kind of tell them where they need to look when looks like rome is using their their favorite toy the the drone. I think it's just a fucking little black rock. You know if the windows on the uh, on the bus there in the center where Raz is, is are bolt proof? They are. Okay. Drones down. The Raz able to pick off the drone, but a lot of information to Rome or for Rome to work with. They should have an idea that Raz is positioned here. Maybe even where Stay Calm is. The shots do ring in relatively close to his position back there. And that is the downside of shooting down the drone is that you do have to give away your position in order to do There's so. There's one in that lane, definitely. Uh, he's he's uh, second floor. But I think least. I think definitely shooting it down and giving away your position, it, you know, it's kind of got to take one for it's the team. Yeah. It's a, it's the more important to deny that, that constant right. play of information. I can't see him. Though. Yeah, yeah. I thought I see him move. I took some shots at him though. Good communication coming in from Rome. They're making sure they all know where body, you know, where spottings have been, where they think people are. Still here, getting himself pretty exposed on this middle of the map, but. Okay. It looks like they're slowly. You know, moving up using a bit of a bounding technique here. We got Big Mike on upper dumpster and Gladiator moving up. Unfortunately, Cool Breeze takes Once down did, Gladiator on his approach. Fully advantage now into the hands of SEAL Team Bravo. Can't ask for a better way to kick off your second round, the one that you can really push down this Rome squad with. The trade here between Will and Seth goes into the hands of Will, evening the odds a little bit. And here comes the push from Rome, 220 left, driver of car and Lucky AF getting uh, forward up here. You know, two minutes left on in this sort of a uh, Marsock positioning, like you are you don't have all the time in the world, but you definitely have more than enough.
Lucky right on top of 4Q right after he shot, definitely giving away his position. Yeah, I think Luck, uh, 4Q may have heard footsteps from Lucky as he did rotate here, but I'm unsure. It seems actually that he might not be aware of Lucky's position. Lucky may be able to get the back of 4Q through the window here. He does spot it. Here he does. Can't get out or get in in time. Stay calm, able to grab him. Calls from 4Q paying off. And now it's all up to the two remaining for Rome. Driver of car in the long rotation coming in. Driver finds one. Can he get Raz behind the ice cream truck? He can't. Uh, Raz with a huge pickup. Now it does come down to a 1v2. Curious if Raz is going to go for that res or if he's going to maintain his defensive position. Yeah, I think I think Lucky took the approach of just being quiet, so they may not know he's not confirmed. Unfortunately, I don't think it's going to matter. Will tried to go prone and push up for the cap. He wanted to see if he could sneak it in and answer back in kind, but SEAL Team Bravo do exactly what they need to do after getting that first early two-point lead and push it up to three. Yeah, just riding that momentum. You know, now we're at map point. Uh... You know, Rome, they they have a hard hard road ahead of them. That is for sure. Yeah, and you know, the Steel Team Bravo squad, a new squad into the league. They're positioned in the bronze division, but I certainly think that they uh, you know, are a bit more worthy of a higher ranking uh, as a new squad. So I assume we'll see them uh, climb the ladder a little bit and be positioned a little bit more middle of the pack, honestly, because uh, they are looking pretty good today, pretty practiced. And coordinated. Yeah. You know, it would be interesting to see what happens when they do start going against those middle tier yeah. teams. I mean, I would consider Rome to be one of them. Granted, they've had a bit of a rough start to their season. Uh, three losses in a row is not easy to deal with. And right now, when you're down a map, you're facing another loss. It's really hard to, you know, get your spirits up and, and battle back. So, a lot on the line here for... Uh, for um, the series, really, a SEAL Team Bravo can get this round. How much of the game do you think is, is merely psychological it, it, as far as, like, outlook <laughs> and, and morality and all that? I think in a lot of sports, the psychological component's pretty big. Um, especially in esports when, you know, you're not really... I suppose with VR esports, you're getting pretty physical, but... A lot of it is meant is your your mental capacity to you know outplay and out strategize your opponent. So I think if you're in your head, you're not thinking clearly, you're not you know assessing all the different angles, and maybe you're you're a little it's called being tilted for a reason. It certainly happens here in Raz finding Lucky AF, not checking all his angles, getting still Team Bravo another early lead. Guys, are you directly facing them? Please face in north of the floor. Like, why are we getting kills there? Really? I'm really liking this cool breeze, Seth far out around in the north push. I mean, they are using every inch of the map they can to make this rotation. We'll see if Will's bush defensive position pays off, though, because it she should be able to hear Seth and Coolbreeze if they get a bit too close to here. Ooh, yeah. That should have given them a bit of a clue that somebody was up there. So one behind you, William, north of that. I think rest your Gladiator and driver of car, eyes on Seth on that rooftop. Seth's really surrounded. <laughs> By Rome defense, but nobody can get an angle up uh, of him up here. And Will actually getting cool breeze on a rotation. That's going to expose his position. I'm sure Seth is going to look for the pick here. 
Yeah. I just if he had a grenade and a little bit of accuracy, he could definitely take that out safely. Take William out safely. Yeah, if he wants to try and peek Will, he has to get super exposed up on that second floor. I don't think he wants to do that. Has a pretty good Overwatch position here down into objective. Could be pretty effective uh, in deterring any rotations, but honestly, the defensive setup's pretty good. They have one or two uh, inside, actually, just Big Mike inside. So the weak point is uh, the north. Or the, sorry, excuse me. The, yeah, the, this, this north approach, the way that honestly, SEAL Team Bravo are trying to approach the objective from. Yeah, you know, I'm just kind of looking at the setup here and trying to figure out like what angle is going to work out best, and I just don't think there is a real good angle. You talked about a nade. Seth just naded. There it is. Yeah. Will in that bush. Is he going to get the confirm? Surely he will. Take a lot. He has to really get out there if he wants to kick that confirm and there are more eyes there that are still on him up on that hill not a lot of eyes on stay calm and his approach here on the backside though 4q and raz with support on that uh middle two story it's looking like stay Calm's opportunity to maybe push into that building and cap from inside yeah because gladiators on on that back room yeah he would have a hard time rotating around in time if he's a fast capper especially if seth holds is positioning there up in the north and has that angle down into objective. Big Mike actually getting picked off. Opens up the inside. Gladiator has Absolutely. to be aware of that. Will he be able to make this cross into here? Yeah, he will without driver of car being able to get an angle on him. Death rotates around, confirms Will, and yeah, nobody is bothering to watch the in the back inside here. They can get into this corner. And punch in the code. Stay calm. He's going to sprint in. He's already checked pack. Oh, Gladiator's, Gladiator's going for it, but he'll get downed by 4Q. 4Q didn't kill him. Why didn't he shoot? What? I don't know what that decision, what 4Q was doing there. Maybe he was letting his teammate cap. Oh, was that, was that the last defender? I think it was. I think okay, it was. Okay, so they were letting him go. Either way, they take it. Seal Team Bravo grabbed the map of their choice, four to zero. Very nice. This new team is looking pretty good this season. They're going to be a squad to watch and keep your eye on uh, as we get deeper into season nine. I said there's going to be a lot of shakeups. Some of these new teams are not that new. <laughs> you know, they're new. They're new in terms of rosters, but the players are veterans and. Uh, it's gonna mean that it's gonna be an opportunity, uh, and a lot of ch oh, it's, it's exciting, man. I, mean, I I can't wait to see how the rest of this season shakes out. Yeah, I agree with with, with coming into it this strong. I, I can't wait to see how they end up. Going back to close quarters for map number three. It is going to be bizarre. Or sorry, uh, suburbia. No subs coming in either, so both squads sticking with their same rosters. Sometimes on that third map, uh, when it's not necessarily a series decider, you'll see substitutes come in to kind of get them a little bit more experience, work up the, your entire roster, because it is important to make sure that everybody is, uh, you know, still effective on the squad. Yeah, it's always nice being in a position where you're able to do that. Yeah. Having a nice full roster. Yep.
If you are just dropping by, thanks for tuning in on this matchup this Saturday afternoon. There's going to be more action this weekend. A couple more games going to get cast, so make sure to tune in to those. Make sure to hit the follow button, and if you do have Twitch Prime, subscribe to the channel. You get an emote you can spread across Twitch Universe representing VRML. But also, uh, support goes back to us casters. Keep bringing you the quality production that you so desperately need in your life. Actually, you know what? We might see a sub from Rome. <laughs> or just a restart, but we are waiting on a final fifth for Rome right now. It looks like we're starting out on this garage objective. It's always been a favorite of mine. It, it lends itself to caps fairly well. Yeah, I would. I, I, yeah, I suppose the garage objective is actually probably one that's. Uh, It's safer to defend. You don't really have to get too aggressive. You have the opportunity to hold back, wait for them to cross. They have to cross into your front yard. There are some multiple opportunities on how you want to defend the objective, but I think until we get our fifth on this Rome side, we'll go into a brief intermission and wait for this third and final round of the series to get underway. I do expect it to be pretty good, pretty exciting to watch, so to stick around and tune in. Guild Team Bravo have taken the series, but we're playing the fifth one. Don't go anywhere. It's the third one. Wow. Yeah.
are back into the action for map number three. Thank you for tuning in. If you are just dropping by, you missed the series, essentially. But still got another map to play here. Rome duking it up against Teal Team Bravo. We do have a sub coming in, Lorena Scout, filling in the Rome squad. And forget everything I said about the house objective. We're on the... Yeah, when you said it's easy to cap, I was wondering, because the garage is usually a pretty tough one. Oh, yeah, and yeah, we did get it switched up over onto the north side. They might have got him, but I don't know. Looks like that frag took out that C4. They're in the middle yeah. on lane 2 or 3. Flashbang there from Lorena to flash up and up and over. Lucky AF can push forward here. And Lucky getting very aggressive over here. And Lorena, is that a shotgun he's using? That is a shotgun. Very interesting pick on this particular objective. Oh yeah, of course it's a shotgun. Lorena loves his shotgun. Good smokes, force rotation from Seth, but he gets over aggressive and gets picked off by Cool Breeze. Lorena's gonna look for the refrag. Down. Raz taking down Gladiator there in lane three. He was sort of s snaking up towards the objective. Unfortunately, it didn't go well for him. Yeah, he was trying to use those smokes as cover, but they weren't quite where he needed them to be. And they come also there on objective to deny that from happening. Puts Rome into a three against four situation. Scratch that 2v4. Yeah, 4Q grabbing one through the bushes. Will checking his I pad, think, realizing the, the situation. I think Room definitely needs to take a breather here and kind of regroup. Hey, who we got left? Things have really, the momentum has really shifted to their favor. As soon as they won that first map, Sort of downhill from there, and <clears throat> honestly, after that cap, it was it was really SEAL Team Bravo has been just winning consistently. Yeah. They've only let in one round in the last eight, I think, that they've scored. Yeah, Rome definitely having just a really tough time of it this series, and it's showing here in the the third and final map. defense just sort of sitting tight waiting yeah. for them to come out from behind the buildings nobody getting antsy or aggressive here which is interesting considering that they've already won yeah. the series you'd think maybe they'd feel a little bit more at ease but they are holding in on their positions tightly they're utilizing this time to practice and get make sure that they have their defensive strategies uh working effectively Scout trying to push at the same time that Will was, but Will not being terribly effective, getting 
pressured by two defenders, and now Lorena's down, so Will is into a 1v4. Yeah, the only positive of that is now he knows where two of the yeah. SEAL Team Bravo members are. Still to drop back, but he's only got a minute on the clock. Yeah, that's not a lot of time to single-handedly take down four opponents. <laughs> Try and risk it across the street. Can't get that kill on to Cool Breeze and SEAL Team Bravo. Continue to go undefeated in rounds. Or not in the last, I think that's their fifth in a row. Sounds about right. Yeah, I would definitely like to see Rome take a couple rounds on this map yeah lighten that nmr uh blow just try and lessen that damage because they have been able to do that in all their other series they've kept it pretty close and you know if they keep this map close the score line's not going to be too blown out no not terrible I think we're definitely going to see them using the full two minutes of, of <laughs> yeah. planning. You know, they're on defense now this round. I wonder if they'll just tuck in real tight and just wait. Kind of like SEAL Team Bravo did this, this past round. Yeah. And yeah, we'll see if they play the patient game. Aggressive. I, I, I expect SEAL Team Bravo to come out looking for a cap here try and try out some sort of smoke play or something like that. Yeah, sometimes you see teams just not really care on that third map when yeah. it's not a, a win decider, but it looks like CT and Bravo is definitely still taking it seriously. Disgruntled Rome employees there, but Happy Nades coming in from the side of Rome. Raz and Steph pushing forward here. Will's into a pretty early defensive position, and a C4 from Gladiator gets set. And yeah, William Dunst denying that chance of a revive as well. On a bit of a tear here in the middle. Manages to deny SEAL Team Bravo all sorts of pushing up here. The nade comes in trying to catch him out. Doesn't work. A flash in Seth's direction. Not necessary as Cool Breeze rotates around. Yeah, I definitely thought we'd see a defense that was a little further back. They're, they've kind of got a, a, a bit of an aggressive defense, but it's yeah. still kind of tucked in. Yeah, clearly caught the SEAL Team Bravo offense off guard. They were not anticipating this after winning their defensive round themselves, but here they are on the bit of a back foot. Seth getting confirmed there from Will, so no more comms from him. And Coolbury should be into a trade here. Gladiator getting 4Q. Coolbury's the last one alive. Where's this been this entire series? Rome dominating this right. defensive round. And Cool Breeze not even really past the halfway mark of yeah. the map yet. Look at how far Rome is pushed up to. They have almost like their own offense. Yeah, Gladiators clear up in middle house. If he looked the right way, he could catch Cool Breeze out here when he moves up. Yeah.
trying to think. This might be my first series of season nine that hasn't come down to the final map. Oh yeah? Yeah. I think every map I've cast so far in season nine has come down to map three. Been a good start. Guild Team Bravo off to a very good start themselves. Obviously, here, Cool Breeze is as the last one alive, not in the best position, but it kind of snake his way past a lot of this defense. Yeah, with, with so much of the defense being pushed up, on, on just as I say that one move back, but if he was able to take out Lorena and scoot around the back, he might have a good shot at it. I think, unfortunately, in order for him to do that, he'd give away his position, everybody would rotate back. Yeah. Yeah, this, this is a really strong defense from Rome. I just don't see really any vulnerabilities to it. Please grab block and play. Rome defense. Lorena does spot him and to pick him off despite him taking his time. It wasn't enough. Rome able to get around on the board. And yeah, they're answering back just like you said they should. Yeah, it's always good to see. Get, get a few points there on the board. Now let's see if, if Rome can kind of carry this, this momentum in, into a map win. I wonder, with that defensive aggression working so well for Rome, if we're going to see a lot more aggression out of Rome for the rest of this map. Yeah, they got Burning House objective up next. Definitely one that can be taken over if you overwhelm it with smoke, so I'm curious to see if Rome will try and block vision with the uh, 6 or 7 smoke if you're on objective. Wonderful see any C4. I often see C4 on this objective. Found number three of map three. Gun, we'll see how SEAL Team Bravo defend. Of aggression they demonstrate as well, because it is an opportunity for them to push up and I don't know if you caught that, but SEAL Team Bravo was calling your name at the beginning of that round. Oh, were they? They were. Hopefully in praise. It seemed pretty neutral. And... Drone coming out again from Rome. That's something that they are sticking to. Raz shooting through the fence. Not able to get Florena and Lucky able to quickly find the shots onto him. Team down one early kills in the favor of Rome for the first time in a while. And it definitely seems like they're playing a little bit aggressive here. And I did see Cool Breeze throw a C4 on that tree on the corner of Burning Building. Not terribly effective. Will almost getting caught out by a nade. Really? 
Still could be in a position to cap if he can get stay calm here. Wow, he's gotten stay calm. He is silenced. I don't think Seth. I don't think he. No, he's, he's standing up. Yeah, he did hear him. He did spot him. He does manage to pick him off. Somehow, here comes Lorena with the knife. Gets Seth Ooh. in the back. Very nice. Trades with the shotgun and can't knife 4Q, who's still inside. Still Team Bravo. Get themselves around. Push it up 2-1. I like that play. <laughs> I like that play from Lorena. That's good stuff. Yeah, that knife. So it's good to see a knife kill now and then. Yeah, I'm sure still Team Bravo are taking their time here to hash out some sort of strategy. They gotta be thinking cap opportunity, ending this map. 4-1 yeah. would be a great way to finalize the series. See if they can do it. Good cross coverage here. Um, squad holding all their angles. It doesn't look like Seal Team Bravo is getting too, too aggressive here. Definitely playing it slow and smart. We're just getting in a position for those smokes to come out and then for them to converge. Yeah. You can really kind of overwhelm this defensive setup if you can get one over to APC. Sort of working behind the lines. If you have smokes to deny vision from the roof, that's huge. It really cause a lot of rotations. If you just get a couple of utility uh, nades out here onto objective. Comes the push, it looks like. Nades coming up and over Lorena just... Missing a nade, dropping over the top of his sandbag. Another one comes in, doesn't hit Big Mike. That a smoke it seems it's been very nade heavy. Lorena getting over aggressive does manage to trade with Seth. Leaves us in a 4v4. Interesting place for a C4. As effective as he may have hoped. Play Raz looks like he has an angle on Gladiator, and he does. And now Rome are down to three with only one really on objective. Big Mike, the only one that can deny a cap if smokes come in. Yeah, Raz looks like he's able to, you know, cover this uh, spawn house pretty well if anybody peeks out. I definitely think a good smoke and a good push could definitely lead to a cap here. A 
Got a lot of time. Three on the clock. Big Mike catching out. Stay calm. Pick up there. And Raz looking for another pick onto one of the defenders. Wants to get Will. Yeah, and look at that angle Big Mike's using right there between the turret and the yeah. main body of the tank. Somehow shots don't land on Raz's head as he's able to duck down behind cover. Now he knows William's position as well. He was unaware there for a while. Yeah, it looks like William shot everything but him. Mike trying to prevent this push from coming in. He's lost his defender behind him, and he's the last one alive, now dead by Cool Breeze. Seal Team Bravo go up 3-1. Yeah, when we threw that round, I was starting to think that maybe they were just thinking about getting the kills, and that's yeah. exactly what happened. 7-2 and two for Cool Breeze. So far on Suburbia. What do you think? You think this next round's gonna be it? Oh, the round's gonna. Oh, I'm not, you know, it's the middle of the house objective. Not the easiest to defend, but certainly an opportunity for counter aggression. Uh, as that pro might try and get pretty uh, group focused and push in through the center. I'm curious what we'll see from the Rome offense to get into this round. No shields coming in. I think they're just gonna beeline it right up the stairs. Yeah, they're investing in the inside defense. Lorena Scout with the shotgun finds one, but he's picked up and Rome are getting aggressive on this objective. Will and Gladiator here already as well. They are not wasting time on pushing this house. A nade comes out onto the back of them. Gladiator goes down, Ooh. so we're still all even. Big Mike's going up inside. He's in there. He finds 4Q. He finds another. The Seal Team Bravo are down to one. Rome might cap. And Lucky is pat out. He's on the objective. Stay oh. calm. Finds one, finds two. Can he get Will, who's behind, punching in the code? Oh my gosh. He doesn't, he doesn't see even him. Know he's there. He's checked his pad. Will's still punching it in. <laughs> wow. Have a little bit of a hard time with, with your entire team dying around you. I imagine it would be difficult. Fucking puss. Fucking Dude, puss. so close. And now it's tied up. Rome taking their sweet time on punching in that code. Do manage to get themselves a cap. And yeah, it, it's all tied up 3-3. Three, three. That, that was an anger cap from Ryan. Yeah, seriously. <laughs> wow. You know, it has been good back and forth for the most part of this series. Still Team Bravo looked very good on downfall, but... You know, that first map on Subway was a good back and forth, and now Rome have answered back and kept things even for our final map of Suburbia. 
Yep, now it's three to three, map point. This has got to be the last round. Let's see who it goes to. You know, it's definitely always good to see when when you've already lost the series and you're you're down two points yeah. to bring it together and get a cap like that and really push back. Almost got shut down too. <laughs> yeah. I mean, how many how many room was there? There were like three people upstairs. Surely, if, you know, if you go up there and clear it, you wouldn't think there's a third person hanging behind the table. Yeah. Well, we're good at final objective for this map. Looking forward to seeing how SEAL Team Bravo decide to push it. If they're going to get aggressive like that, or if they're going to just try and find picks here and there before trying to charge in from the center. Yeah, I definitely don't think it's going to be too aggressive here the way they're setting up. able to find, excuse me, Will able to find one with Lucky's impressive fire. Yeah, unfortunately not confirming Seth. Raz with an impressive shot through the bushes. Yeah, that was nice. Looks like he's looking for that, that res on Seth, but being very cautious about it, which I absolutely would be too. Uh, he's almost out the window. Oh, he just checked. I'd be leery about using verbal commands like that with, with him lurking right there. Yeah, I wonder if Will heard that you're good and, and moved off of it, but does manage to pick up the quick res and keep things even. Will Breeze is flanking hard. Oh, that smoke really doing a nice job denying Lorena Scout Vision there as they do crossover. Shots coming in into Lorena's window, not quite landing. They have Orq also now on that backside. It looks like they're taking over the spawn house here. Yeah. Down to two Which... for Rome. Definitely work out very well sometimes you can get those picks from the upstairs of center house. All comes down to Big Mike to get one map for Rome on the board. Well, they're, if he stays tucked in here, they're going to have to come up the stairs. And if they don't all come in together, he could pick them off one by one. Unfortunately, once he gets the first one, they're going to know where he's at. Yeah. I'm sure Mike's palms are a little sweaty right uh -huh. now, as I'm sure he hears that he's being surrounded by SEAL Team Bravo. Here's all the footsteps beneath him. Here's the nade getting pulled here, too. Uh... Celebration screams from SEAL Team Bravo. Yep. They grab their third map and... The entire series. And that's a great way to come in to season nine as a new squad. Yeah, absolutely. I think that's now. You know, I think they're undefeated this season. That's four wins in a row for them. Yeah, Rome starting out early with that with that one cap, yeah. but 
you know, they answered back then at the end of that first map, and Rome even got, what, two more caps after that, but unfortunately it just wasn't enough. Yeah, it does help lighten the MMR loss, but ultimately doesn't get them any map win. SEAL Team Bravo are the champions. I think with that, we will be signing off here at the Caster Desk. Shout out to our sponsors, ProTube VR and VR Cover. Thank you for tuning in tonight. My name is Nightfire with two E's. My co-caster is Andrea. We'll see you tomorrow with more action. Have a good night.